Hey everyone, so today we're talking about ghost notes. So some of you may be asking, well, what are ghost notes exactly? Um, and so ghost notes are muted notes. They're like rhythmic thumps that add a percussive element to your lines. You know, when you listen to a drummer, for example, um, and you hear them playing those ghost notes, you know, they really, the ghost notes really give it a drive. And so it's very much like that on the bass. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to talk about two ways to play ghost notes. There's a uh, um, one finger muting technique, and then there's a um, a four finger, or you're using all your 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 fingers on your on your fretting hand to mute the strings, very much like um, Rocco Prestia with Tower of Power. And then I'm going to show you an exercise that you can practice to get you started. The single finger technique I use um, for faster lines. Um, and the way you do that is, as the name suggests, you press down. It would help if I put up the volume. Um, you press down and then you deaden the note with the same finger. So, okay. Um, the four finger technique is where you put all of four fingers on the, the neck and you mute and you strike with your plucking hand. And this one, um, as I mentioned, Rocco Prestia of Tower of Power, if you ever watch him play, um, he, he'll he play his bass line and you'll see his hands are constantly moving like this because he's doing this technique and he was a master at this. And he'll come up here and play some fills. And um, I, I think for me, if it's a slower groove, although Jocko played some, Jocko, sorry, Rocco played some um, pretty fast lines using this technique. Um, but for, for slower grooves, this I find actually gives me more control over the note and over the, you know, more consistency with the, the ghost notes. So it's kind of... So um, that's the basic technique. Okay, so let's get into the exercise. The exercise is in uh, the key of A minor, uh, just to keep the notation simple. And um, I'm using the minor pentatonic scale. I'm playing 16th notes, and we're gonna start by playing two actual notes on the downbeat, so on the one and the E, followed by two dead notes, and that would be on the and and the ah. Uh. So it's Kind of sounds like this. Three, four. Again, three, four. So we're gonna play each of the notes in the minor pentatonic scale using that rhythm for the first part of the exercise. So let's try it together.
so for the next part of the exercise, we're going to flip that. We're going to play the two dead notes starting on the downbeat and then um, the actual notes on the upbeat. So dead notes on one and E and the actual notes on the and and the ah, uh, like this. Three, four. Again, three, four. Okay, finally, we're going to put these two parts together. We'll play two actual notes on the downbeat, followed by two ghost notes on the upbeat, followed by two ghost notes on the downbeat, followed by two actual notes on the upbeat. Okay, like this. Three, four. Okay, try it again. Three, four. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, practice this with a metronome. See how fast you can get this cleanly. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to the entire notation so you can practice offline. Let me know in the comments how fast you can get this. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of this practice along format, if you find it helpful or not. So that's it. I will catch you next time. Thank you.